Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. The change in the weather I was so afraid of is here. It started some day last week with temperatures above 20 degrees Celsius and rain every other day, thus resulting in a very warm and humid climate, a climate I personally don't enjoy. I especially don't enjoy this kind of climate when it happens from one day to the other. It is really like I discussed it some episodes ago. It is the end of April, we are still having early springtime weather, but it is obvious that at some point the weather will change and when it changes, then it will be a drastic change. Yeah, I was right, I unfortunately was right. Now my body has to get used to this kind of weather again. My body isn't happy about this. This morning I did an easy run and I was sweating as if I would have done a threshold session or an interval session. Oh, you start to purr right away. So you seem to enjoy court. That's good, okay. Let's step outside and officially start this episode while the cat is enjoying the court. Yeah, my buddy was just feeling like, okay, we are, we are apparently doing some kind of very strenuous training. It does not feel like very strenuous training, but I still notice the effects of the weather that I now have to get used to it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun at all because I wanted to make progress. I wanted to, as discussed last time, Focusing on getting closer to my to my running goal this year But now I think instead of aiming for sub 19 minute 5k runs every Saturday when When going to the park run I first need to get used to this kind of weather. I Hope it won't take that long. I mean this kind of weather already is here for a couple of days, so I guess soon things will feel much better. But it's annoying. It's really annoying. Because it... Yeah, it, it's like, okay, I, I predicted it and it really became reality and uh, now we have to go through, through this kind of madness. But um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm not really looking forward to the second training session for today. It is one of the, the key strength training sessions. And I already know, okay, I, I, I won't enjoy it. I won't enjoy it at all. I will be sweating so much thanks to this high humidity. Oh man, this... It will be bad, but I mean, it's also a good way to to get used to to this kind of weather. I mean, I, I just have to go through it, and eventually, I will I will get used to it, and then things will be back to normal. It's just just the the transition phase is so stressful. The good and positive aspect of this is. Once I got used to it, I, of course, continue to make progress. <sighs> Thanks, Enderman. Thanks. I continue to make progress and once it gets colder again, so towards fall, I, I will really notice all the, the gains from the summertime. This is cool. This is cool and I hope of course that I can even during the summertime get in some uh, some good results, some fast times. We'll see. 
We'll see. I, I, I'm kind of confident that once I, I got used to it and it remains somewhat constant, what would really be bad is this kind of on-off situation. Some warm and humid days followed by some some cool days followed by some warm and humid days so uh, that you never really get used to it. But once once I got used to it, I think it will be all right. It's it's just for right now. It's, it's no fun at all. Yeah. Anyways, the medic training is really cool. It's a lot of fun because yeah, I, I'm really really learning so much new, getting so much new insights. And um, yeah, it, it, it's it's really a great training. I feel that this is really some kind of first aid training where you at least feel somewhat ready to to do something. Not like the the typical one day first aid training sessions where you then think, okay, um, I know that I should call an ambulance and then uh, then I'm out. That's all I can do. So yeah, it, it, it's really nice. Two days over, three more days to come tonight, tomorrow evening and Monday evening. Tuesday evening will be a day off and Wednesday evening will be the exam where we have to go through three types of situations and show that we, we are somewhat capable of handling them. So apparently one situation will be just doing this reanimation re stuff. So how to how how to how to properly do it? One thing I guess is some some kind of internal condition. I don't know, heart attack, stroke, whatever, to properly react to it. And finally, one. They, they call it surgical situations or something where someone is is injured, bleeding, so something bad happened and you then have to react to this kind of situation. I guess should be okay. I really, really enjoy the, well, the, the, the examples. It's not like the the examples are just discussed in a theoretical way. It's more like okay, a two person team has to get out of the room. The others get briefed about the example. Then they get um, brought back into the room, and they have to somehow do some kind of diagnose, treatment, reaction to to the situation. And I mean, th th this is great because you, you, you learn so much in just doing it. And I, I find, I found it pretty cool. Of course, they, I, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if the, the way how they go about it is, is the most ideal way because it's like, you, you get the knowledge you need to know about the examples after you ran through it. So basically it's like the, the example itself you go through is the introduction and learning phase at the same time. It's not like they introduced you, introduce you to a proper handling of a situation before, and then you can try it out. It's more like, okay, you get thrown into cold water and afterwards we discuss it. So basically you, to some, some extent you're supposed to, to fail, which of course results in a great learning experience, but I'm not sure if this is, is really the most ideal way to, to go about it or if it could also be 
a little bit different, like first discussing what are best possible solutions, then get thrown into a situation and see if you can, by applying these this knowledge directly, learn more and afterwards discussing it. Uh, I, I think that this would be a little bit more the preferred way for me, but I still enjoy it. And so uh, it's really cool. And I, I also noticed somewhat of a, of a big, big learning gain over the last few days. So I got thrown into the, the second example ever in, of the course in the, in, on the first day. And it was like, okay, um, what to do? I, I mean, it, it was obvious. You first have to figure out uh, wh wh where, where is basically the, the issue. Is this is somewhat going on with the, the airways? It's basically something that is, that is blocking you from breathing or so. Is it, if, if not, hi. Why? 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 Why are you stealing my dirt blocks again? <sighs> Wait, I'm I'm here next to water, but on the other hand, I, I don't want to provoke more more guys to spawn. Ah, uh, creepers, creepers. Yeah, cre creepers too. I mean, I'm I'm afraid of creepers that could spawn when when dealing with that ender man. Let's just let's just go to bed. Ooh, and skeleton. Uh Where's my, where's my, here's my, oh, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, little dear. Haha. All right. Let's, uh, let's really go to bed. These are the things <laughs> I was talking about. They wouldn't be great when, when dealing with, with the Ender Man. Okay, at least we, we got this out of the way. Uh, where 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 did the Enderman get the the dirt again? Okay, so let's 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 resume the the building activities around the the terminal that I can fill in this this big hole finally. Uh, yeah, so so first checking for airways, then breathing, circulation. Meaning, is anything wrong with your cardiological system? Disabilities, are there some neurological issues? And finally, are there any other things? If, if it's really hard to, to determine what's going on, then there's basically expose the patient and find out what's what's wrong, more or less. Everything else, I mean, the, the, this entire um, structure, procedure, is a little bit... Oh, did I forget to, to construct something to get back in there? I, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that, that's what I did. Oh, snap. Okay, how do I... How? How? I mean, we... We want to extend this anyways, I guess. have this here and this should allow me to get in here. Aha, nice. Um, of course, checking for airways and so on is very important, but when you see, okay, this, this person is bleeding from an open wound, maybe it would be better to first stop the bleeding. But yeah, um, so, so in, in the first example, it, it was kind of obvious Okay, there, there's a breathing problem, but what kind of breathing problem? I have absolutely no idea. So, um, in the end, it turned out to be hyperventilation. But uh, yeah, the, in the first place, you just realize, okay, there, there is a problem, but what to do? How to how to do? How to diagnose what what kind of thing it is? Yesterday, it already was was much. Easier I felt to to interact with the with a simulated patient to ask for for certain information to act based on on what we we knew at this stage. 
So yeah, I, I feel just just doing it, just getting the practice is, is really fantastic. It's on the other end also a little bit like okay, you you actually can't do much. I mean, not not at this stage. I think what, once you get more in depth medical training or something like this, which I hope I can get at some stage or so, uh, you might be able to even do a little bit more. But in in this first very basic layer of medic training, it's more about how to make sure that the, the patient survives until more qualified help arrives or so. Um, but yeah, th th that's still great. And I feel just just having all the examples, just going through all the, the different types of injuries, medical conditions is really a great way. Apparently tonight we will we will also practice again our reanimation skills. They already said maybe you should, should take some some clothes that are a little bit more breathable. Because uh, you start to, to warm up, you will you will get really warm when uh, when doing the the chest presses for some time. So maybe I will get there in uh, in sportswear. <laughs> I mean, I I already know that. Okay, I I was feeling that it was way too warm in, in that that building already the the last few days. When I now should also do some exercise there. Maybe maybe I will really get there in shorts and so on. And uh, yeah, then then I do have three training sessions today, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, I feel it's 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 really really a great thing, and it's it's a thing that why. Just why? Um, and where is this guy coming from? Why Why is that, that guy... I thought they, they are not liking... Sunshine. Why, why, why are they out doing sunshine? Th this, is, this is not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen at all. Yeah, so... Um, it, it's really great. It's, it's very great, but at the same time, it's also like I I expected it with that additional training. At the end of the day, there's some well, the the, the days uh, longer than I used to, and it's to some degree also exhausting. But yeah, it's, it's very. I see the benefits, I see that this, that I enjoy learning all those things, so it, it's a nice thing, it's really a nice thing, and I am already excited to, to learn more, to find out more about all this, and to, yeah, we, to, to see how I can later on maybe deepen that knowledge. But yeah, it, it it really feels feels like a good thing. So that's cool, and it's also nice to constantly discuss with the instructors, ask them questions, and they they agree with this totally. Like. The more the more you ask, the more you do, the the more even mistakes you do, the better it is. Because right now it's it's really the the perfect moment to make mistakes. The group itself is is nice. We are a group of ten people, so it's it's also a small group and. Um, was this block there every time? No, it. What? This is an Enderman block. I feel like this is an Enderman block. Uh, what? Why? 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 
Why Enderman? Why always Enderman? So yeah, that that's basically what what was the the most interesting thing over the course of the last few days. It's it's really as I said a great thing to to learn about all those those ways how to to treat someone, how to what kind to to question uh, to ask, what kind of information you want to get from from a patient so yeah i i think i i just find it cool besides this medical training nothing special is going on i mean i i'm back to to normal Training week now. Last week was recovery week now. There are two, two progress weeks again. Then there's recovery week coming up again. So lots of running in the morning. Lots of well, sweaty running in the morning thanks to to the weather change and of course normal normal work. The good thing is to Tomorrow there won't be teaching because of that foundation event situation where which is a lecture free day. Sure, I, I, I take it. I'm I'm happy about this. So I can focus on other things. Finish that that letter to the reviewers and they hope that they will actually read it and react to it. We'll see about that one. I, I hope they do. Polishing that That, that other paper, or rather revising that other paper. Oh yes, then there will be uh, an online conference, not this weekend, but the, the weekend after, where I just have to present one one paper. I was I was really happy because I the 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 the, the Zebby of the past was thinking ahead and was thinking of current Zebi and more importantly of future Zebi because when preparing the the slides for the lecture past Zebi already created slides for for the results of that paper which now allows current Zebi to just take those slides and throw them together, basically create some kind of Frankenstein presentation or so. But yeah, I, I don't have to start from scratch. I more or less can can grab pieces from here and there from my from my lecture. And I almost get a, a finished scientific presentation, which is which is super cool that that I did this, I think I especially, I, I purposefully did this on the one hand because, hey, those those results are relevant for my teaching. And on the other hand, I knew at some stage I have to present them anyway. So why not, why not doing this while preparing teaching? Th this really is a great thing. Th this is a very, very great thing. Makes, makes my day a little bit easier. And, um, yeah, I, I think these are the the most important things that happened. The tattoos are healing up nicely. They are a little bit itchy, but um, they they are really healing well. I hope. So I hope in I don't know maybe one week from now or so, most of it. Um, I mean, most of the healing process is complete, which would be great. And um, yeah, still, still super happy. Still super happy with with the two two tattoos. I mean, would be bad if I would be. <laughs> really, really happy with with the result. Really happy with with the look of it, with the size of it. Everything, everything is is, is amazing about this. 
So yeah, I think we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will be joining me next time. Until then, my name is Seppi. See you! Thank you.